Hey everyone, hope y'all are doing well. For the first time viewers that are finding this channel for the first time, welcome to Paw Paw Did It Again. For the returning viewers, thank you very much. I appreciate the support that y'all give me. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about haversacks. Uh, I'm not talking about, I'm going to show you a very easy way to make a haversack. Uh, we were watching some videos on YouTube and um, my wife was watching them about people making haversacks and she was like, oh, how are they doing it this way? Why are they doing it that way? I'm like, well, come up with an, can you, I asked her, I said, can you make a haversack? And she looked at a couple of them online and gave her some measurements and stuff. She said, absolutely, I can. Now let me preface this video by saying that a haversack is a bushcrafter thing. I am not a bushcrafter and I do not play a bushcrafter on YouTube. I'm just a guy that likes a good bag, um, a guy that likes to watch YouTube and figure out if I can do it after watching a YouTube video. Uh, so we're making a bag, a haversack, out of wax canvas. Now if you don't know how to wax canvas, uh, we've done a video in, in the past, about three or four or five weeks ago, we did a video and uh, I'm going to put a link to that down in the description and my wife did the, the uh, waxing the canvas. I'm going to put a link to that down in the description, or you can uh, watch the video in its, in, in its entirety, and there'll be a link at the end of the video that you can click on and watch how to wax canvas. We show two different methods of waxing canvas on that video. So my wife came up with the idea and made this haversack. This is what she came up with. I'll give you a closer look. So this is what she came up with. This is uh, very fancy, fancier than what I wanted. Um, so she's made a nice lining. She lined it. Uh, it's uh, 14, 16 inches this way, 12 inches this way, I believe. The uh, flap comes over the front and uh, she put a zipper pocket in here, which is uh, a little bit more difficult. My wife is a, is a great uh, seamstress, quilter, uh, you name it. If it's sewn, she can make it. Uh, but this is what she came up with. Uh, she put a, a 48 inch strap. And um, so I, she made this and brought it down to me. And I asked her, I said, can you make it simpler? And she said, how simple? Do you want it? And I said, so simple that I can do it. And uh, she said, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. I said, can you make it out of one piece of fabric? And she said, yep, I think I can. So she went to work and uh, this is what she came up with here. Uh, this is made out of one piece of fabric, minus the lining and the zipper pouch. So what I'm going to show you today is how to make this bag, now this exact bag, a close uh, facsimile of this bag in, uh, with one piece of material and four stitches. So stay tuned, uh, let me get set up and I'll show you what we can do. So here's what we got. We cut one solid piece of material. Now I've already put the uh, the strap on there, we did that last night. We started this last night and then my wife said, well, why don't you make a video out of this? I said, that's a fantastic idea. So, but I will show you how we did the strap. We came in three inches and then down two. Now, <clears throat> first we set this end of the strap onto the two inch mark and we put a stitch here and then we put a stitch here and we folded it like that put another stitch here another stitch there that's how it's stitched that's how the strap is on there makes it very durable and stay on there so we have a piece of material that is 50 and a half inches this way and 16 inches this way. 
Now the way I've folded this is from here to here is 18 and 3 quarter. Now this is up to you how long you want your bag. Uh, this whole, all the measurements are up to you. You can make it 48 by 12 by whatever, however big bag you want. But for this one, we're doing 50 and a half by 16. Now I folded it here. This is, like I said, 18 and three quarters. And then whatever's left over will be this length. So one piece of material. Uh, now, when you fold it up, you want to fold it with your inside of the bag towards the outside. But you're going to turn it inside out and put this outside that you're looking at now on the inside. So let me get the sewing machine set up and uh, we'll get started. So just so you know how simple this is, I took a sewing lesson from my wife, Trish, last night. This is the second time that I've used a sewing machine in my life. So let's see how I do. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have basically a half inch. We're gonna sew a seam up this with a half inch sticking out past the seam. Now this is not a sewing tutorial, so don't make fun of my sewing. <laughs> this is how to make a simple haversack. So if I fumble around with the sewing machine, that's why. Um, well, I'll probably speed up these sewings because the stitches, because it's going to take a long time for me to do it. So here we go. So that's got the, the first thing done. Um, now we took a, uh, a moment yesterday evening to uh, kind of bind the edges, I guess I think is what you call that. Make it more of a finished edge. You don't have to do that. Uh, just keep it from fraying and so forth. So um, let me get this other side done and then we'll move on. All right, there you go. Um, now, some of you can stop here. It is a haversack at this point. Now, we're gonna box the corners. Um, so, have about a four inch depth on it, about like that on the bottom. So it's not just, as my wife says, a flat ass bag. Uh, so she boxed the corners on her. She has instructed me on how to box the corners on these. So that's what we're gonna do next. Um, so if you're still watching this video at this point, you must be kind of entertained. So uh, why don't you go ahead and give me a quick uh, like. Just That's all I'm asking for, just a like so it can show up in other people's video feeds. Because uh, the more, according to the YouTube algorithm, the more uh, likes I get, the more the video is actually dispersed around in other places. So give me a quick like, quick thumbs up. All right, and I appreciate it. Uh, so now we're going to uh, box the corners. All right, so in order to box the corners, this is my, my wife's instructions on boxing the corners on this heavy fabric, we have to cut the corners out. Now I had to readjust after my uh, seam was put in there. It has to be two inches from here to here and from here to here. Two inches from here to here and two inches from here to the seam. So you mark that two inch square 
and then you cut it out. Then you're going to take the two cut corners like this and you're going to pull them together. Pull them apart like that. And then that's going to be your your seam. All right, so open up the bottom like this. You're going to line this thing, the crease in the bottom, up with this seam. And that creates your box corner. Now I think since I've got this closed up like this, I'm going to go ahead and sew it. So I don't have to fiddle with it again because handling this wax canvas and trying to get it to line up like this is a little bit of a challenge, but it's doable. So uh, let me get it on the sewing machine. Alright, so you have to do some uh, finagling around to get it flat enough to go through the sewing machine, but it's doable. So, let's go ahead and give this a shot. Now, just so you know, my wife is standing behind camera so I don't wind up sewing myself to this bag. So, and plus I think she's worried about me tearing up her sewing machine. Now this is her cheap sewing machine, she's got another one. So if I tear this one up, it's not the end of the world, but... That's it. It's a box corner. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one um, and uh, get it done and then I'll show you what we got at the end. There we go, four easy stitches. Now, the only thing we have left to do is just turn it right side out. It is wax canvas, so it's not very easy to work with or to get turned around. There you go, a haversack. One piece of material, and one, two, three, four stitches. Easy, too easy. Now you can hand stitch this. I wasn't gonna try to hand stitch it. Uh, I had a hard enough time with the sewing machine. I couldn't even imagine myself with needle and thread trying to do this. Uh, the sewing machine wasn't neat, wasn't hard. Once you get the hang up, it's pretty easy. Um, you might even, if you get ready to make a, uh, make a haversack of your own, you ask your wife to help teach you so you might actually make her happy she might actually smile at you anyway so uh, this canvas was is just regular 
painters cotton canvas that we bought at the a home improvement store uh, with some uh, black web strapping that we bought at the at the uh, fabric store and uh, this is what we came up with now if you have any questions about either one of these now this is made out of a duck canvas um, that's about twelve dollars a yard I think is what it was and uh, we have decided there needs to be a couple of improvements to this one this needs to be a web strap and the zipper in the pocket needs to be a little bit more uh, a little bit less dainty a little bit more um, heavy duty <clears throat> so if you have any questions about either one of these bags <clears throat> I'm gonna put my Instagram and Trisha's Instagram down in the description and a link to the to the video where we made uh, the what we did the wax canvas we waxed this one and we waxed this one uh, so they're both waxed canvas uh, just hit us up on Instagram uh, Hopefully you found this video interesting and have a great day. Thanks for watching.